Welcome to Bugs Part 2. Bugs Part 2, we are going to make the legs. So let's begin. We're going to use the pen tool. We'll take the pen tool. We're going to want to make sure that we don't have any fill in there right now. We'll add fill later. We're going to come over here right near the bug's body. We will click, 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 click. You want to follow the path and click. The final one will be clicking the very end. Now we can make some changes to the corners here. For example, this anchor point right here will take the direct select tool, the gray arrow, we'll put it on there and with the arrow key on the keyboard we're going to move it over. I think that was a little bit fat and I'm going to make this a little bit longer. I'm going to move it up and <coughs> move it over just a little bit and I'm going to call that good except for the corners. On the corner I want to click on that and up here at the top there's a convert choice. And I'm going to go to the convert selected anchor points to smooth. Notice how that smoothed that off. We're going to do the same thing to the inside. That's going to be the, the bug's leg. The next thing we want to do is we're going to add some color to this. So we'll come over to our gradient tool which is open. If your gradient tool is not open then go to your gradient right above the eyedropper and double click on it. It should be open and it will have whatever color you've chosen last by whatever area or object that you have. At that point you can simply choose the new area and click on that. That would be okay but we really want to make some changes on this leg. We're going to change the colors. We're going to start out, we're going to put a red in the center. We want this bug to be something other bugs don't really want to mess with. We're going to tighten up our little slides so that the, the red, red becomes where we want it to be. And actually I want that red to be right over where the elbow portion is if possible. So we're going to slide it over to where the elbow is. A little bit less something like that. Now we're going to go ahead and have uh, some black in here. We'll add the black and the other part of the green will make it a darker green. There we go. That'll be the leg. Now to get the second leg we don't have to redraw it. We'll simply use our Alt key. Select the area. Alt key. We'll make another one. We'll make a third one, and we'll make a fourth one for right now. Now for this one, we simply can right-click, transform, reflect, and we're going to choose a vertical switch. Now we can move this over and place this in place. For this one, we could do the same thing or we can simply grab the top, pull it down, move it over, put it in place. The next one, let's click it, let's go to the corner, see the little double arrow, we're going to turn it around, we're going to rotate it until we're happy, we're going to bring it in place, continue to rotate it, Now I want this to be raised to the top front, so right click, at arrange, and bring it to the front. Now we have some legs that are there. Let's go ahead and grab another one and, and make the ones for the side also. We'll hold the Alt key down, make another one here. We'll rotate this one around to where we're about happy with it. And we'll do that one more time. We'll take this one we will use the Alt key, bring it over, right click, transform, reflect, and we will do a vertical. As you can see at this point we have our bug. We have our legs, 
we have our eyes, we have all parts of it. Can we group it together? Yes, and that's probably not a bad idea. That's what we're going to do next. So I'm going to zoom out, control minus. I'm going to grab my entire bug by surrounding around it. Under object, I'll choose group. And I'm going to shrink my bug down in size. I'll hold the shift key to keep it proportional. And I'm going to place the bug right in the center. Next, in my layer panel, I have the bug layer. I'm going to take and I'll lock it. And now we're ready to go to the sun layer. At this point, I'm going to stop the video. No, I won't stop it. I'll just go ahead and finish. It'll take just a minute longer. For the sun, we'll go into the sun area, grab the circle, pull the shift key down, and I want you to make a big circle surrounding the bug. Notice that it came out the same gradient as we had. We're going to double click the gradient so it comes back. This time we're going to change to a radial gradient. We'll just throw away this one by dragging it off. We'll bring this one over. We're going to change this one to a orange. And we want orange to be on the one side. We want red to be on the other. I see what's happening. Let's go with this right here. You can see it's a little brighter. I think I want a little darker red there. I'll go with this red. There's going to be my sun. Next, go to the next layer. And this will be the background. I'm going to lock the sun layer so it's locked. I'm in the background. This time I'm going to get my rectangle tool. I'll make a big rectangle over the entire area. I'll simply take my stroke. I'll change it to a dark blue color. My background is finished. I'll lock it up. I'm going to go to my text layer. Under the T. We're going to type in... Your name and... Since the name is not in a bright color, I'm going to go to a yellow or a white for the color. We'll just pick a yellow in this case. No stroke. Click on the, air, the name. I want you to enlarge it. Effect, 3D, extrude and bevel. Leave it at 50. Say OK. That's the end. Although, I need you to make an extra bug and put it in here so that you have two bugs by ch and you're going to have to change the color of your bug that you have and uh, change some of the gradients on your second bug and add it in. Thank you.